and then Sir Philip Sidney uh, comparing a woman's shoulders are unto two white doves. And then in another poem, her cheeks are unto white doves. And there does become a point at which you're like, other birds are available. Um, and far too many doves so anyway. So many doves. And, and Dunn, John Dunn erupted out of that tradition and said, it is incredibly unlikely that your desire is like a rose. Human desire is stranger and wilder and more vertiginous than that. And so he, when he became a poet, he chose imagery that would anchor your imagination with its strangeness.